Hello friends, fans, and lovers, the name is Mr. Joshua, I'm here with the beloved and cute Valentine, she is, yes, once again, my plus one, and yes, we are going to talk to you, and yes, it's all for you! What are we going to talk about today, Valentine? We're going to talk about dreams. Dreams? I love dreams! One day we're going to open a smoothie store, it's going to be amazing. I think we'll live in Alaska or California, one of the two, haven't decided yet. I know they're very different places, but we, we don't know. And, um, smoothie stores probably won't work in Alaska. Yeah. Mm, that'll be hard. Maybe California's better, but I want to move to Alaska. There's no dust in Alaska. Isn't that amazing? I hate dust. It's been trying to kill me since a child. There's been this war raging between me versus the dust. There's a lot more of it, and it's not really a war so much as it is a massacre. Um, no, that's, yes. that's awesome, but I, I was talking about more like when you fall asleep, like that. Oh, I like dreaming dreams. That kind, uh, yeah. You know, I kind of secretly thought that's what you meant, but I really wanted to tan you, so I was going to anyway. <laughs> you said it, I'm like, yeah, oh, she probably means like when you're sleeping, but nah, I got way bigger <laughs> dreams. I got way bigger dreams. You're just gonna run the other direction. That's good. So good. So dreaming dreams. Yes. Awesome. Um, you first. Me first. Mine's exciting. No. Well, I mean, I have a lot of them. What do we try to say about them? They're neat sometimes. Sometimes they're confusing. Sometimes they hurt. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're they're. I don't know how forward you want to get. Uh, we can talk about all of that, I guess. Like, you know. Okay. I don't know. We'll be here for a while. So, okay. Um, okay, just tell me a dream then. If we're talking a about dream. dreams, tell yeah. me a dream. Okay. Um, a memorable one. Um, I, I guess you'd have to remember, but like a good one? A good one? Well, Let's I say have a boring ones. one? Because apparently during your sleep cycle, there are a number of different times where you'll dream about exciting things and other times where you'll dream about really boring things. People don't usually remember the boring ones, but you can, and they are literally about, like, the most boring things you do in your day, because your mind spends so much time dwelling on them. There'll be points in your day where you just, dr or of your sleep, where you will just sleep and dream about, like, driving to work, and nothing exciting will happen. And then there are times when you have dreams of, like, fighting pirates on a notion made of pancakes with stars of syrup, Damn. and it's awesome. That's intense. I know. Wow. <laughs> I really want that to happen. I really want right? pancakes this morning. Um, that was my last night. Just that was my dream last night. So I thought you should know. Yep. It was weird. Um. Then I won't mention the dream about me moving boxes because that's not important. See? Oh, what I say? What did I say? Um. I wasn't going to though. Um. One dream I had, I still remember it, and it was a few mm -hmm. years ago. I remember being on top of a leaf, and like my surroundings were like you are amazingly dexterous go on right i know but i was like mini and the leaf was big and oh, okay. and like it was all like yellow was around. there a giant tree as well no just oh. a leaf and i was floating up and, the, and it like it was cool for a while because you know floating up and it was oh so you weren't on the ground you were just in the air i was on top of the leaf and the leaf was floating this is very dangerous go on well anyway and and then it, it turned bad because there's a oh. bumblebee and it oh. was like huge. Oh, and I guess it was relative to the leaf size. Yeah, because mm. I was like mini, and it and it stung my arm, and I like freaked out, and then I woke up, and my left arm actually really hurt because it stung me there. That's oh, in what, the dream. Was, the bee was stung this me one there. of those nights where you just slept on your arms, so but was numb? No, and I saw some blood. No, I just I it just hurt because it doesn't. Work. This isn't the Matrix. Pain you would experience in dreams doesn't actually happen. Okay, then I don't know. Maybe I did sleep on my arm. That's very possible. It's very possible. I wasn't paying attention. You were asleep. Yeah. But yeah, no, that bumblebee one, it was not good because the bee stung me. And, and I remember in the dream, there was like a girl I knew then. And she when I was floating up, she was floating down talking to me. Hi, bye. Right? Like, I don't know what she was saying, but... It was one of those weird experiences where you kept floating up and she was continually floating down in front of you so you could have a conversation? Or was it just a really fast conversation? It was just a really fast, like, I saw her talking and it's, like, just passing. You no. Know, oh. That kind of thing. Like if you were both in elevators and yeah. going opposite directions. Yeah. That'd be cool. That would be cool. It was not, because I got We should write a love story about two people who, meet, who make eye contact between, like, different elevator paths and they realize what this means to them. But they're going different ways. And of course, one's going to the top floor, one's going to the bottom floor. And it just gets attached to that. That would be pretty and cool. And he base jumps off the top. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, she has begun climbing the elevators to get to the top. That will be amazing. In my wow. mind, he went up, she went down. Oh no, that's sad. Mm -hmm. I'm... What? Oh no, I thought you meant like... He doesn't die, he gets to the bottom. Okay, well that's good. 
happened. I yeah. I took it a different way. I don't that know. That he just kills with. himself. No, she's like, so adorable. <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. can't live with this pain. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that like she had thought that he went down, so she went down, and he had thought that she had gone up, so she then he went up. Met, they first saw each other in the elevator. He's already going to different paths. I know. That's why I was like, wait, never mind. We're extrapolating too long. I, know. I think we'll have to make this a two-parter. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Mr. Joshua with the beloved Hugh Valentine. We shall be back shortly with more dreams. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.